Welcome to learningmole.com. Today we're going to talk about bones. I was watching Scooby Doo. It was about a skeleton, and I was just wondering why we have bones in our bodies. So I decided to find out. Did you know bones make up the framework? Of our bodies. We call this framework the skeleton. Bones do lots of jobs. They keep us standing upright. They support our body. If we had no bones, we would be like a big pile of jelly. They also protect our organs like our heart, liver and lungs. These organs are soft and squishy, but the bones protect them. Our bones also help us to move. Now that's a lot of jobs. Then the little skeleton in my head appeared. Have you ever wondered how bones are made of? Off I went to find out. Well, bones are not just one material, they have different parts. 70% of the bone is not actually living tissue. It's made up of hard minerals like calcium. That's why you have to drink milk to make your bones strong. Most human bones have four parts. The outside part of the bone is called the periosteum. This is a thin but very dense layer that has nerves and blood vessels. These nurse the bone. Compact bone is next. It is smooth and very hard. Cancellus bone comes next. This looks a bit like a sponge, but is much stronger. On the very inside of many bones is the bone marrow. It looks a bit like jelly and it makes new blood cells for the body. Erin, how many bones do you have in our bodies? Well, you'll be shocked to know that babies actually have more bones than adults. Babies' skeletons are made up of more than 300 parts. By the time we become adults, we only have 206 bones. Don't worry, babies don't lose bones. It's just that some of our baby bones are made partly or completely of cartilage. As we grow bigger and heavier, cartilage is slowly replaced by harder bone. Some smaller bones join together to make one bigger bone. Now, here is a question. Did you know how a skeleton has to move? I feel like I'm becoming a bone expert. Where two bones meet is called a joint. Some joints are fixed and don't move. For example, the joints in the skull before they have grown together. Some joints move a little, like the joints in your spine. Some joints move a lot. You also need muscles to work with your bones. How do we keep our bones healthy? Eat healthy food, especially dairy foods. These give your bones the calcium they need. Get plenty of exercise and make sure that you protect your bones when you play sport. I'm beginning to wonder lots more about the human body. I wonder what I will explore tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed my story. Why not subscribe or pop over and visit us at www.learningmall.com